All right, guys, so I'm back again with another video. Uh, I've struggled with this problem for a long time. I finally found a way to fix this. It is a little tricky. Uh, you have to be very careful uh, with this, but you can get proper root motion animation for games uh, using this method, and it's not a difficult concept to grasp. So you'll see that it's only moving forward and forward and I clone is actually negative Y. And on root motion animations, you only want the root to be moving in the direction of travel. So if it's forward, you only want it to be going forward on that axis. You don't want it to have any rotation or movement on any of the other ones. And I'm gonna show you all guys how to do this. It's a little tricky. This is a motion capture animation. You can do it on motion capture animations. Some animations you get, you might have the pelvis uh, or the entire character moving, but the root is never moving. Uh, you can use this to fix that. Uh, or if you have movement, but you have, uh, if it's moving forward on the Y, but you have some deviation on the X, uh, you can use it to, uh, throughout the animation, you can use it. Uh, to fix that. The thing with uh, root motion animations is you don't want root motion animations uh, to be moving back and forth because in game it'll do this. It'll move the entire character and anything connected to the character such as the camera and uh, it's going to cause undesired results and you just don't want that kind of stuff. So we need it to only move on the axis for a root motion animation but we need it to follow the pelvis so that the capsule will, uh, or the character will stay inside the capsule uh, during movement. If the character is pressing forward on their keyboard, you only want it to go forward. You don't want, you don't want them to be swerving left or right. Uh, so when you're capturing motions, you want to make sure that you try to stay within a straight line, a relatively straight line when you're running. So, anyway, there's your animation, and the root is right where it should be, roundabout. Uh, you can clean that up and try to straighten that up afterwards, but if uh, it deviates too, f if the character deviates too far off from it, but that's part of cleanup. Uh, anyway, so. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to load in this animation. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you load in an animation, well, you're going to notice it's it may be oriented improperly. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, actually, is come in here and you see how these have blue outlines on them? That means that they're an IK. IK means uh, that, you, that you can move the entire leg uh, when it's in... When it's an IK and it's inside of iClone, it'll stay in this position if you try to move the pelvis, which isn't something you're going to want to want for this. So you're going to want to make sure that these are in FK. They will they will be have gray circles around them, not blue ones. So after you've done that, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, come down here to this motion direction controller and you're going to want to zero this out so that it's oriented forward and you can come up here and go to top or press G on your keyboard to make sure that that's straight if it's not try to get it straight uh, it shouldn't be if it's not straight then something went wrong I, I want to try to manually straighten it out I want to rely on that I would want to try to make sure this is zeroed out if it still doesn't look straight, then uh, I'm not sure what could be causing that, but I've had that issue before. So after you've uh, zeroed that out, uh, it that will affect your base motion layer. If you don't have these motion layers, you won't, you won't want to go to Window and go and make sure you have Curve Editor opened and Animation Layers open. That's F11 and F12. Uh, so the base layer is the additive layer that you normally add 
uh, changes to the animation on, and it literally adds that stuff to it. So those offsets. So you'll see right here on the base layer, I have a zero rotation, but on uh, the base motion, uh, we have a rotation. Ignore that, that's not really important. We're gonna fix that. Uh, so the reason why it rotated it on the base was because we aligned it, that's fine. So inside of our curve editor, you'll see uh, this tree window right here. And under FK transforms, you're gonna wanna find your bone root and the Z. And you're just gonna select all of this. And you can come up here and select copy or press control C. And you're gonna come back over to your base layer. And you're going to select the pelvis because you want to transfer that rotation from the root to the pelvis. But you can't do it from here because if you do it from here, you're going to replace its current rotation. You want to add to that rotation. So that's why we're doing it this way. And so I'm going to paste that there. And you're going to see it's going to rotate them right there, but that's fine. Go back to your base motion layer and now go to your root and select all of this again. And then under the value, just select, press zero and press enter. And now you'll see that he's facing forward again. We've just transferred the Z rotation of the character to the pelvis, uh, from the root to the pelvis. So the next thing up is the X. That's the left to right. We don't want that because he's moving forward. So in this case, we're going to do the same thing, but with the X. If it were a left, or a right animation, you would do this on the Y, the position Y, not the position X. And now just copy that over to the position X of the pelvis. And there we go, we pasted that. Now we can come back over here and we need to come over here and select this and zero it out. And you won't see no changes right away, but that's fine. Uh, don't worry about the Y, we want that. That should be it. If you scrub through your animation, you should only have movement on that one axis. If you have movement on any of the other axis or you have a rotation right here, uh, make sure you have your base layer uh, selected and go ahead and lock your base motion so you don't accidentally uh, change something on it because you don't want to keyframes on your base motion. Um, the reason why is because on base motion you have to you have to uh, change things key by key frame by frame. On your additive layer any change you make will propagate throughout the entire base motion animation. So that's why we do it. That's why we, we don't want to key frames on the base motion. But go back to your base layer with this selected. Do this. By the way, if you're seeing something weird here, you need to make sure that your animation is selected. If you select a different one, uh, then you're going to get different results right here. Uh, so make sure it's the animation you want to do this on that is selected. Scrub through it and make sure you have no rotation or motion on anything but the the axis in which the character is supposed to be traveling. If that's the case, then you did this correctly. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But make sure that if you forgot to set these to IK, make sure you set those to FK. I mean, if you forgot to set these to FK, make sure you do that now. Uh, if you don't, then it'll mess up the feet. So with those set to FK, we can now flatten our motion and go to flat, just right click on it, go to flatten motion clip and flatten all layers. And now that all that motion that we added is now part of the uh, base motion animation layer. And to make sure that it didn't mess anything up, we can go back to the base root and we can scrub back through the animation and you'll see that 
there is everything is correct. Now you can save it. So I'm going to override this one. And now I fix that animation and it's oriented properly. And if I ever need to go back and make changes to it, uh, I can do that after I save it. So it's quite a process and it's pretty tricky and you can easily mess stuff up along the way. So if anybody have has any questions or uh, has any issues, uh, let me know and I'll try to get back to you with an answer.